Uh, good morning from Abu Dhabi Electric Vehicle Innovation Summit. Uh, very pleased uh, to welcome Mr. Nicola Sukai, uh, General Manager, Black Lane. Thank you very much. Uh, we just came uh, in a very nice uh, Mercedes uh, from uh, Dubai to Abu Dhabi. Electric, uh, of course. Uh, how are you deploying electric vehicles uh, commercially uh, in the UAE? What are the facilities? What are the risks? What are the challenges? So, I mean, in the UAE, we are deploying Deploying, uh, we actually have a large fleet of EQS. Um, so this model, the car we see behind us. How many? We have 25 today, and we will have 50 by September. Uh -huh. um, there are lots of challenges. I would say the first challenge we had to face was to find a location that could cope with the amount of load that we needed for our uh, superchargers. Um, today we have our own superchargers in our office, in our office facility where we have our chauffeur academy where we have uh, you know all our cleaning operations and so on so we're able to do everything in one place and um, and it's been quite efficient it was it was a challenge at the beginning to get set up find the right partners but today i, I believe we are running um, um, you know a fleet efficiently and um, yeah. much more efficiently than uh, what we would have had if we had a uh, you know, petrol engine vehicles yeah. to be uh, so, so you have uh, uh, electric Mercedes, uh, ele uh, Mercedes electric vehicles. What about other global manufacturers? How is the relationship with the OEMs in the Middle East, whereby we see that they have uh, electric vehicles globally, but not necessarily in the Middle East? So, I mean, today we operate a fleet only of uh, Mercedes-Benz EQS. We have a strategic partnership with Mercedes-Benz, which helps us, um, you know, um, bring the cars and operate the cars so um, obviously we work um, together we purchase cars from from uh, the two uh, distributors here uh, Gargash on one uh, in, in Dubai and uh, Al Fahim in Abu Dhabi the relationship is great we haven't faced any issues with regards to bringing cars to the region I think the push from Mercedes-Benz has been quite strong and aggressive to bring cars to, to, to this part of the world so at least at our end and with the OEMs we work with today, we haven't faced uh, we haven't yeah. faced any 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 issues. Uh, solar charging. Are you considering any solar charging uh, facilities in the Middle East? I think it would that that would be our goal, right? Uh, also, um, you know, the whole for the whole chain of uh, of uh, of the you know charging or electricity to come from from sustainable energy. Um, so today we've built our entire infrastructure with Total Energies and PowerTech. Um, They've helped us tremendously build our infrastructure. I know this is on their radar. This is what they're specialized in. And that's what we, we as ESG Mina have been lobbying for. Yeah, and I think that's the right thing to do, right? We need to we need to build the entire, well, as a group, right? We operate a fleet. That's our, my what I know is how to uh, yeah. run a chauffeur company. Um, but at the same time, uh, we need, um, you know, uh, the yeah. entire net network of service providers to be looking at, at yeah. those things. Uh, we are in UAE. Are you planning any stretch of operations to the rest of the GCC and the Middle East? We we very much hope so. Um, this, uh, all, all those things are being discussed right now, but the interest is very high. I think, um, I think you know, the people that have tried our products, um, you know, um, also want to bring it to their home country and, and we serve a lot of uh, customers that come from the region, so I, I do think that one day we will be available and the same service will be available in other parts of the world. At least we're working on it. Let's see. Right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take thank care. You.